Hello, I'm Becca King-Reed. As the Bay Area faces a rising tide of foreclosures, KTEH is working to connect our viewers with the help that they need. Many homeowners are vulnerable to so-called mortgage rescue scams. These are offers that could cost you not only just money, but the home you're trying to save. Today with me is James Sibley, Deputy District Attorney in the Santa Clara County District Attorney's Office. How big a problem is this? Uh, this is tremendous. We have seen sort of the first wave of all of the subprime and alt A foreclosures and we're heading into the second wave where a lot of the option arms are resetting um, and we've got the financial crisis where people are losing their jobs and uh, you know, having downsizing. So it's coming out as a sort of the, the perfect storm. Oh, and it's growing, isn't it? A it absolutely. Uh, the problem is getting bigger and bigger. And it's affecting people that you know, traditionally haven't had financial trouble and uh, you know, aren't, aren't really sure how to handle it. Oh, yeah. And so now these scam artists, how do they find their targets? Um, you know, this is uh, such a, a perfect thing for predators. It's like uh, chumming the water. You've got desperate people and their largest asset out there. So um, whenever a notice of default is filed on a home, it's filed publicly at the recorder's office. And every day there are people down there copying each of those documents and selling the lists of everyone that a notice of default has been filed on and that goes out to everybody who might want to take advantage of them. Now what kind of things are they offering? Um, if, you, if, if you wanted to look at what to be aware of that someone coming to you is possibly a scammer, uh, promises. If they're guaranteeing results, if they're telling you 98% you know, of our loans get modified, um, don't believe them. That's just not the reality today. Uh, if they want money up front, in California the only people who can accept advance fees for foreclosure consulting after a notice of default are attorneys or specific brokers approved by the Department of Real Estate. So if they want money up front to do a loan modification, they're probably planning on taking advantage of you. Can you tell us about the bait and switch tactic? What is that? Well, you've got to be aware that a lot of times they'll talk to you about one particular thing. We're going to modify your loan or we're going to get you a better deal and then you come in and suddenly there's piles of paper and it could be something completely different than a modification. It could be a, a high rate refinance. It could be actually giving your property, deeding your property over to somebody where you still owe the bank but they own your title. Um, and a lot of times they'll approach you with offers like this to say um, you transfer the title of your property, we'll get a better deal because we have good credit or we know somebody with good credit. You stay in your house, you rent it back, you lease it back, and when you get on your feet, we'll sell it back to you. Oh, it sounds tempting. Uh, it sounds very tempting and it's just a great way to lose your house. So what if someone falls for one of these, what should they do? Uh, well, obviously, if you fall for it, the very first thing you should do is get back in touch with your lender because the one thing almost all of these scams have in common They'll tell you to ignore the mail, ignore the calls, we'll deal with your lender. If you don't know what's been going on with your loan, the odds of you having a trustee sale, losing your home are good. So when you realize something seems wrong, the first person to call is your lender. Uh, the next person to call is going to be your local police agency or call one of the HUD licensed consultants that will for free do the exact same thing these people are offering to charge you thousands of dollars for. So basically, if someone solicits you and says, give me money and I'll save your house, that's to be avoided. Well, there are people legitimately doing loan modifications. There are attorneys out there, there are companies out there, but there's a lot of things that'll tell you the person you're dealing with isn't someone legitimate, how they come to you. You know, it's a flyer on your door, it's a cardboard sign on a pole, uh, it's on Craigslist, you know, it's not, it doesn't give the feeling of permanence and legitimacy. They don't have their name, their face, their license attached with or associated with the company. All those things are warnings. They're pretending to be a government agency. You know, they have a name, they've got a, a flyer with Obama's picture on it. Obama is not putting his picture on a private company's flyer. So all of these things are clues. They put a hard sell on you. You've got to sign now. If you don't do this now, it's going to be lost. They tell you things like, don't talk to your lender. Pay us the money. We'll make sure it gets to your lender. All of those things should just send up flares. Jim Sibley, Deputy District Attorney at the Santa Clara District Attorney's Office. For more information and links to organizations that can help you, please go to our website at kteh.org.